Welcome everybody to Funeral Nation episode 134. I'm Ryan Thogmartin. That is Jeff, the Funeral Commander Harbison. It is almost the end of 2018. Uh, another year in the books, and boy, the news in the last two weeks has just been crazy. It's uh, incredible, and in fact, y'all need to stay tuned and buckle your seats because we got something to break loose here that uh, I'm not going to say is causing controversy, but it's certainly going to stir a beehive. It Fair sure enough. is. Fair enough. Yeah, and look, there's no way to power this other than CNJ Financial. Folks, I'm in the financial side of the business. I work with cash flow solutions. I help with accounts receivables. If you're not using CNJ, you're wrong. What payment method do you prefer families use for your goods and services? Most funeral homes and cemeteries prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance as the preferred method of payment. However, families who use life insurance are able to purchase the funeral service of their choice and spend 31% more on your goods and services. By encouraging more families to pay with insurance, you can create a better experience for the family and become more profitable without increasing your call volume. The reason most firms prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance is that insurance companies are a hassle to deal with and payment can often take weeks or months to receive. With CNJ Financial, you can receive funding within 24 hours of verification of benefit, thereby eliminating the hassle, headache, and cash flow delay in processing insurance death claims. Let us show you why hundreds of funeral homes all across America choose C&J for their assignment funding needs and why many associations, accounting firms, and industry leaders recommend C&J to their clients and members. You said they're wrong. Can you believe that? Do you tell people they're wrong? Yeah, I think that's what they're rolling the promo after that. <laughs> yes, they are. We already, ro we already rolled it. It's after the fact. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, Ryan, there's some uh, continuum of big news of consolidation in the business. That's How right. about bring that up? Well, we have Providence Equity uh, Connecting Directors rolled out the exclusive piece last week. Uh, they purchased majority stake of Front Runner, Fraser Consultants, and SRS. So, some consolidation, which I mean, I think for the last two years, we've talked on this show multiple times about the need for consolidation how consolidation is going to happen. And, and now we're seeing it again this week with uh, Wilbert Funeral Services, Inc. acquiring or the attempt to acquire Astral Casket Company, which is which is interesting. So I have a history with Wilbert. My father-in-law has a Wilbert Barrel Vault franchise. I was on the, the Wilbert Manufacturing Board for a few years when I worked for him. Um, I think it's an interesting play. You know, Wilbert is building a pretty valuable portfolio. They have a, a granite company. They have the vault side. They've got cremation products. They've got now two casket companies with Signet Supply as part of Wilbert's and uh, this acquisition of Astral. The thing that, another thing they're getting with Astral, um, it looks like they're also purchasing Astral Carrier, which is the trucking line that Astral runs, which is interesting. So, uh, a problem on the vault side um, is Wilbert has farmed out their liner loads. So every vault company each month is getting a semi load of liners and, and products uh, to each franchise to pour and distribute the Wilbert Barrier Vault. So now they've got their own trucking company for caskets and other product, which, which is valuable. So, you know, I think that uh, we, we saw outside cash infusion in, into Wilbert a few years ago with, with Allegheny Capital investing millions of dollars. And uh, I feel like Wilbert is, is building itself pretty nicely for uh, another acquisition in the near future. Well, if you look at it, they're also uh, intertwined with Pierce. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Pierce and the mortuary schools. Right. So... Uh, there's another smart business adding on uh, like businesses uh, for consolidation. I mean, we did it here at Foresight. Doug Gober's on board, right? Yeah, Imagine yeah. we had Gober Strategic Capital came in here as a partner at uh, the Foresight companies. I mean, we've got a, a heck of a lineup. And frankly, I think for the future, that's how it needs to be, that there's either strategic alignment or uh, – basically companies buying out each other and consolidating yeah. because we, we talked about this. I, I think it was in uh, January of 2016. 
yes. that we were coming to a close or what was coming to the year. And man, it is manifesting itself. It is. It is. It, it's, I think it's good for the profession um, because it creates some more competitors and, and everybody has to elevate their game. But also, I mean, frankly, walking through NFDA or ICCFA, there's a lot of companies that cease to exist the following year. And, you know, those talents probably would be better served in other areas uh, with some of these big conglomerates that are, that are partnering together than trying to carve out an existence um, yeah, an existing I, I, for 12 months. Business, just like uh, we've seen it all along where, in fact, there's some surprises that come up. Yeah. But I, frankly, that's the future. If you can't get used to it, then uh, just stand there and watch what happens. <laughs> Let's take a quick break. Speaking of the future and tentacles and in the business, I see uh, Kraken as a future uh, with their dashboard. Uh, what they're, they've created is unlike any other product in the industry. Uh, they're a strong team, and I'm a huge proponent. I've been actually watching them in part of as their development uh, since back around 2010 or so. So let's run their promotion. Powerful productivity tools help accomplish the work that needs to get done. Weak productivity tools waste time and money and frustrate your team. So what's the fastest way to productivity? Often it comes down to the tool you use. Here are three questions to ask before you choose a productivity tool. One, how will this tool improve my business? Kraken optimizes every interaction you have with families. Kraken saves you time and can be accessed anywhere, anytime, on any device. Two, how will this tool help my team perform better? All information within Kraken resides on shared dashboards. This means your team works together, resulting in better communication, coordination, and collaboration. Three, what happens if I'm not satisfied with the tool I choose? Kraken offers you a 30-day service agreement. We want you to be free to leave us if you don't love us. We won't lock you down. Good tools make work easier, not harder. Which tool are you using? Tips like these can free up your time so you can spend more time with your families. Learn more about Kraken's productivity and efficiency tools at kraken.net. How will you spend the time you save? Let's get Kraken. All right, Jeff. So <laughs> what we're going to talk about next, you, you mentioned stirring a beehive. Um, so, I mean, do we want to throw this image up right now? Yeah, I, I think it's a good time. Uh, the young lady who writes for you had a good post today on connecting directors, Patricia Hartley. Yeah. And <clears throat> this is coincidental, I guess, but it was about women in death care coming full circle where it was dominated at one time, came back around. And, you know, we see it. I think it's a wonderful thing with women coming in death care uh, from all sorts of uh, positions. You see uh, Christine Hint, just, she's over ICCFA. We, we have a plethora of talent. And then we also still have some real serious problems. Yeah, just like this. I was this. aware this week uh, of a social media post and if you want to, you can kind of flash this up at this mm -hmm. point. Anyway, Monica Torres has had some great press here recently. She was on the front of uh, American Funeral Director. She was just in the Funeral Business Advisor. And here it is, a guy that's a funeral home owner. We're not going to mention his name. That posts publicly, high precious. Okay. Well, not great job. No, not very not smart. Good. Do wonderful. And I have to tell you, this turned into a internet firestorm where sure women did. were just absolutely killing it. And it's still pervasive out here. Yep. Um, we're seeing the, the professional women's conference come out and it's supportive. Uh, we just can't stand for that anymore. You know, th those days are over with, guys. Uh, tell me someone you don't like working with. It doesn't matter their sex. It's their job and what they do. Uh, That's right. <laughs> Stephanie Ramsey, as you well know here at the Foresight Companies, is an industry human resources expert. And, man, this is like a lawsuit opportunity. Folks, if you haven't heard of sexual harassment, the example we just posted to you, what not to do. That's right. Not to do. And and our good friend Paula Masters last year around this time put out a great multi-piece series on sexual harassment in funeral homes that just 
from a legal perspective, um, this is kind of a no-brainer. Like, why? 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 Why are we still Neanderthals in 2018? Doesn't make sense. You know, it's interesting. We have all these cremations conferences. Cremation, cremation, cremation. You can get sued. I got news for you. Your number one expense item on your PL are people. The Department of Labor, have them call you up versus OSHA. See how that works out for you, right? Human resources, all sexual harassment, all this, ah, it's no big deal. It's a big deal and you need to pay attention. So I want to issue a challenge uh, as a response. Uh, we had the uh, hashtag me too. So now let's have hashtag high precious. And uh, ladies, send us in your examples. Don't use names, but uh, we want to support this and bring it to light because those days have to be over with. Monica, good job for being strong, continuing to do wonderful work. Uh, we support you. And look, got to end it's just got to effing end there you go speaking I'll... toward the end uh we have something that's great to share with everybody right one of our sponsors that's right let's roll a promo for our boys cirrus chan and sish cat sitch casket All right. right, so here we are. Next week, we start getting closer to holidays. Um, if your funeral home has some great uh, holiday pictures, how you festively created it, send it to us. We'll post it. We'll highlight you guys on here. Uh, we're grateful for Funeral Nation. I think this is the progressive site. I get calls from company owners all the way to folks who are just entering the industry saying, thank you for the information you're providing. Uh, yeah. We're doing this because we're passionate, love the business, and it's time for this other stuff to kind of move on. So uh, if you don't like it, we're going to not stop it. That's right. You, but you, you can hit the pause button or you can X out and leave now and not come back. Yeah. Or we'll just talk about you if we're here. <laughs> All right, Mr. Commander. I think that wraps up episode 134. Uh, we'll be back next week with a uh, holiday message. So uh, until next time, have a great effing week. Out here. <laughs>